hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial this is my first tutorial on application designing we will be making different types of GUI applications GUI stands for the graphical user interface is this is the first tutorial on application designing so in this tutorial we will only be covering the basics for example how to add a text box in an application a radio button a communication port through which we can communicate with the Arduino and we can receive the data or we can send data back to the Arduino how we can add different types of buttons how to add check boxes and how we can use a check box as a button how we can add labels and uh, how to add timers watch this tutorial to the very end because the same things uh, will be used in the next tutorial in which we will be receiving data from the arduino the programming language that we will be using is visual basic 6 because this is easy for the learners then we will switch to vb.net in vb.net we will be doing complex programming like image processing designing scada applications security systems databases for the sensors voting machines and sensor data sending through emails and much more so now let's start the visual basic application and cover the basics that can be used to receive data from and to the arduino so now let's open the visual basic 6 standard exe and open Now we can change the name simply by clicking the caption. We can write my first application. Okay, now if you play this, now you can see we can change the size of the form now select the form and for the border style fixed single now this is fixed we cannot change size okay right now this is the text box double click to add in the text delete the text and okay now we can now its name is text one we can change its name to txt name okay this is the label lbl name click on the caption and write enter name so that's how it looks okay now let's add a button double click change its name to CMD okay click caption and write okay again double click to add a button and change its name to CMD clear and write clear okay now if we run this application start 
it's not doing anything because we didn't start the programming yet let's add another label select the caption delete and let's change its name to LBL display okay now let's start the coding double click on the OK button LBL display dot caption is equal to txt name dot text okay and for the clear txt name dot text is equal to so it means that this is for the empty now let's start click on the OK is there's nothing so let me try something that is uh, electronic clinic OK and you can see we can also change the font select bold okay now hi how are you we can clear and I can see so we can write anything and clear that now let's add a checkbox double click add change its name to chk select and write uh, select you can write anything okay play and you can see okay now how to convert this into a button select checkbox and in the style click on the graphical so you can see it's converted into a button okay and now you can see so we will be using this button in the upcoming tutorials okay so we can add other buttons sorry checkbox motor graphical then this button can be used to turn on a motor and off a motor now let's use radio buttons let's name this as mail Email and we can use multiple radio buttons uh, like for example how to add them we will keep them inside a frame make a frame
is on. Off. So if you need more radio buttons, you can make another frame and add radio buttons. You can also change the name. On off. Now let's add a timer. Double click. Keep the interval one second. So write 1000. 1000 milliseconds equal to one second. Double click and write txt name dot text is equal to time. So as you can see. So this is just because of the timer. And you can see that is enabled. So that's why it's working. We can also make it false. Now it won't work because that's false. We can also make it enable and disable during the runtime, and uh, we can also add a communication port. So, how to do that? Right click over here, click on the components, and over here you can see that that is the Microsoft Common Control 6.0. So, check this, apply. And close so that is the communication port MSCOM one okay and uh, so that's it for now